Hello fellow classmates, I am going to show you the um, soap testing. This We need bowls of milk for this and we're going to put food dye in it and see. Dawn makes something weird happen to the food dye, but I want to know if the antibacterial soft soap will do the same thing. They are not the same soaps. Alright, I need to put one drop of each color into the bowls. Blue is in. Pink always comes out in a kind of hard. Alright, done with the food colorings. Alright, I'm gonna use a Q tip, which you know I would recommend using, um, to stir up the perp the pink and the blue, which they actually they look a little different. I think I might have put more blue in this one, more pink in that one. But Oh, so my food dye is all mixed up and ready to go. I've got Dawn soap here in a container. And I am going to put a Q-tip on it and see what happens when I put my Q-tip in here. So watch carefully. I'm going to get Dawn soap on the Q-tip. Alright, there's the Dawn soap. I'm going to put it in. Ready? As you can see, this is like pushing all the color somewhere. I don't really know where it's all going. But now we're going to try it with the different soap and see if it also works. This is antibacterial soft soap. Yeah. So let's try it. This time, this isn't going in this bowl. This bowl is out of the question. Now it's up to this blue and purple one. I got the antibacterial soft soap, and now we're going to see what happens when it touches it. There is nothing happening, actually. Like, I guess if you poke it a few times, it starts spreading out, but nothing's happened, so... I guess soft any soap besides Dawn won't work for this, unless you, you know, poke it, because... You know, you can see it's already spreading out. So, um, I think that my question for this would probably be, um, what makes, you know, Dawn Soap make all of this, you know, push out? You know, where is all the extra food dye going? All this stuff at the top, all this purple and blue. So, 